Hello everyone, I have some really exciting news. I finally got my first microscope. Ever since I began this YouTube journey, I wanted to dive into custom PCBs for my projects. Main thing that kept me from doing so was a lack of equipment. The tools I needed the most were a microscope and an oscilloscope. And thankfully, next PCB reached out about a video sponsorship. They decided to sponsor my first PCB video, which is not actually this one, but the one after, and they helped me get this microscope. This microscope was not sent to me for a review, I ordered it myself and paid for it, which means I can say whatever I want about it. I'll show you what's inside the box, how to assemble it, how to set it up, and in the end you'll see what it's like to work with it. And of course I'll show you the videos and photos I recorded with it. The microscope came in a cardboard box with no branding or anything. It was protected in a ton of styrofoam and everything arrived in one piece. I was a bit too excited when it showed up and so I couldn't wait to unbox it on camera. What you're seeing right now is how I remember it being when I unboxed it the first time. You get the screen which is huge and a remote for configuring the settings. Then three cables, USB-C which is used for connecting the display to a PC or a Mac, a DC cable which is used for powering the display and an HDMI cable for connecting it to another screen. The microscope is powered by a separate power brick, it's 12 volts and 1.5 and amps. It would be nice if it was powered by USB-C, but I'm asking too much. At the bottom section of the package, you get the metal base with two LED lights, you get a display stand for the base and the main lens. The listing description said I would get a user manual as well, but as you can see mine was missing. I did get this CD, but what am I supposed to do? <laughs> To assemble the scope, first get the metal base and screw this short piece to it. I over tightened mine a bit so I can't get it off and show you how I did this but it's pretty self explanatory. Then get the display stand and start screwing it to the base. There is a nut on it that's used for securing the stand in the right position. Take the display and remove the protective cap, do the same for the lens on both sides and attach the lens to the display. Then you can slide it to the stand and secure it with the set screw. There is a set screw at the side which secures everything together but mine got stripped immediately. To fix it I wanted to cut off the unthreaded part of the set screw but I soon realized it's just a plastic insert and after I removed it the problem was solved. Take the DC cable and connect one side to the display and the other to the one of the ports on the base. Now connect the power adapter to the other port on the base and the microscope should power on. The first time I powered it on I had some weird mirroring issues. I couldn't get the picture right. It was always mirrored in one way or another. To solve this I did. 你好, 亲爱的朋友们, 在这个视频中，我将向您展示如何更改显微镜上的语言。Now let's take a look at the metal base because it's a bit confusing. We have two DC ports and a potentiometer for the lights, which is fine. You plug DC power into one DC port, and the other one is wired in parallel to power the display above. The potentiometer for the lights works, and I have no questions about it. What I did have questions about is this micro USB port in the middle. It says 5 volts DC, so I thought I could power the microscope with 5 volts over USB, which would be awesome. I took a power supply and a cable, connected it up, and well, nothing happened. I unscrewed the bottom piece that's holding the PCB in place, and would you look at that? They soldered a micro USB connector to the board, but the VBUS pin is not connected anywhere. So no, you cannot power it with a USB cable. The base is covered, and now let's take a look at the microscope display. On the left side of the display, you will find a micro SD card slot. The product description says it supports a 256 gig card maximum. Although I didn't test the limit, I used a 32 gig card, and everything worked fine. On the bottom, we have a DC connector for the power supply and two more ports. USB-C port is used for connecting the microscope to a computer. When you do so, it goes into PC camera mode and it starts streaming video over USB. Unfortunately, I didn't get it working while recording this video. It did work both on Windows and Mac OS, but when I decided to record the video, it just didn't work. It's a cool feature, but the video it streams over USB is always mirrored and there is no way to change any settings while in this mode. The display of the microscope also goes black, so you can't look at it while working. It's a pretty useless feature and I give it a 0 out of 10. The HDMI port on the other hand works really well. It does 1080p at 60Hz with no mirroring issues and no delay. On the front left of the display lives an IR receiver for the remote and on the other side are the menu and power button. 
buttons. The remote controller works really well and it's much easier to use it instead of the buttons on the display. The only thing I would change is for it to be able to turn on and off the microscope as well. The power button on the display is the only one I press without using the remote. By pressing the menu button on the remote, guess what happens? You can turn on the magnifying glass mode. You can set different crosshairs, you can change the image size, which is the size of the captured photos. Then. You can adjust the white balance and under that are some more color options. Then the one push option, I'm not exactly sure what it is because it didn't do anything and I didn't get a user manual. Under that you get some more exposure settings, you can adjust the date and time and your wall frequency. Then there is the famous option, factory settings and version. On the remote you can mirror the image and you would do this only if you wanted to do a factory reset afterwards. You can zoom in and zoom out which actually works really well, change the color temperature and the most interesting thing, record videos and photos. On the bottom of the remote there are photo, record and gallery buttons. Press the photo button to take a photo, press the record button to go into recording mode. While in recording mode you can press menu again and here you can change the recording resolution. The recording starts when you press the record button again and it stops when you press it one more time. And the last button, the gallery mode. By pressing this button you enter the photo and video gallery. You can see everything that's on the SD card. And and it works really well. And for a video test, I'll be recording in 1080p, 60 frames per second, just to show you what it's like using the microscope. I took a broken TP4056 board I found in a drawer and started by replacing a resistor on it. And now I'll keep quiet until I'm done. By the end I was really pleased with it, it did its job really good. It's obviously not as good as some more expensive scopes, but it's definitely good enough for a home lab. So, what's my opinion about it? If you're looking for a microscope in the $100 to $150 range, this could be a really good option. It feels a bit cheap when you see the micro USB connector which isn't connected anywhere, and when you try to connect it to a computer and it doesn't work. But all of those things are just extra features that are not necessary for a microscope to work and be used for what it's meant to be. Let's take a look at some things I liked about it. The remote controller is a nice thing to have. It's way easier to go inside the menus with the remote than it would be by pressing the buttons on the display. I just wish I could turn the microscope on and off with it. The screen is really good. I couldn't find what the resolution is, but it's sharp enough and I couldn't see any pixels while using it. The lower part of the lens, which is used for focus adjustment, is very smooth and it feels really nice. These lights are awesome. You can easily adjust the position and brightness in no time. While working with the microscope, I didn't notice a delay, so that's a plus as well. The photo and video recording quality blew my mind. I still can't believe the recordings are so good. It will be a nice addition to these videos. And the screen angle can be adjusted, which is awesome. Now the things I didn't quite like about it. The optics are a bit too zoomed in. You can see that I moved the display up and I still can't get the whole board on screen. Plus it's a really small PCB, so if you were working on something larger, it could be a problem. It could be probably resolved by using a 0.5 or 0.3x lens adapter, but I'm not sure which one to get. If someone knows, please let me know down below. This is the only thing that really bothers me about it. Now let's take a look at some other things that are not so good. First of all, the mirroring issue. The microscope will sometimes mirror the image and you can't do anything about it. A reboot may fix it and if it doesn't you have to factory reset the microscope. Then the set screw, which had to be fixed a bit, but I did it, it was really easy to fix, it's not really an issue. Then the micro USB port on the back is useless, which again doesn't cause a problem but it just looks weird. And the USB-C for PC camera mode, it's not that I need it, but it was advertised. I did get it working a couple of times, but still, when it does work, it's useless because the image is mirrored. I probably forgot to mention something, but the thing I'm trying to say is that this microscope may feel a bit cheap in some areas, but that's probably because it is cheap. All the main things that are needed to use it work well, and the video quality is really good. 
If you are thinking about picking one of these up, it would be awesome if you can use the affiliate link down below. It gives me a small percentage of the order with no added cost to you and helps fund more future videos like this one. And that's it, thanks for sticking to the end. I hope you enjoyed watching me introduce you to my new microscope. Stay tuned for the next video because I have something really interesting coming up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you have any ideas on how I can improve these videos, please let me know. And if you want to see these videos more often, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks.